One, two, three, fuck it. Hey guys, my name is Meg and this is Gucci and welcome back to my channel! So for today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how to bring your dog to Canada. I'm in the dog park right now and this girl just won't walk because we've had our walkies and she's now super tired. Okay, so you're viewing my channel, you're checking out this video, so that means you would like to bring your dog from the Philippines to Canada. I am now based in Toronto but I came from Cebu, Philippines. First thing you need to do is to find an airline that allows pets inside the cabin or in the cargo hold. So with me, I booked our flight through Korean Air because they allow pets inside the cabin with a maximum weight requirement of 7 kilos including the pet carrier. You should also prepare an airline approved soft pet carrier that can be placed under the seats. Note that there's a pet fee charge of $300 or its equivalent that you have to pay. Prior to booking our flight, I had to reserve our tickets. I had to check if it's available because they are pet friendly, yes, but they only allow two to three pets inside the cabin. So I had to contact them first, reserve our seats before booking the flight, but it was all smooth. Like when I contacted them, they gave me specific dates to make sure that we get Gucci approved for the flight. The first thing you need to do is you get your dog microchip at your local vet. With me, I got Gucci microchipped at Animal Wellness. It is well known in Cebu and I got her microchip for 1,500 pesos. But you can also do the free microchipping process or service, but you have to wait for that. Like Park Mall does have free microchipping services, but that's not all the time. Like it's usually when there are pet expo fairs, so you have to wait. The documents that you need to comply are the health certificate and the importation document from Bai. For the health certificate, you can just get it from your local local vet. Uh, the rates are usually 400 to 500 pesos depending on your local vet's rate. You have to check if the health certificate states the microchipping number because they will be asking for that. You need to also add the latest anti-rabies vaccination date. Gucci's vaccination should be November but the vet suggested that I had to get her vaccinated again before our flight. So I did that. The health certificate expires in three days. So you have to make sure that when you get your health certificate, you go directly to buy and get the information importation document. Although the importation document expires in 10 days, but just to make sure, you know. So buys importation document is free of charge. Mind you guys, it's free of charge. You have to bring these documents to buy. You have to bring the health cert from your local vet stating the microchip number and your vet baby book. Here are the things that you need to buy. To have a smooth flight, make sure you buy your dog a muzzle because it's a very long flight. From Cebu to Korea, it takes three to four hours. Korea to Toronto, Toronto is around 13 hours so you have to make sure that you have a muzzle in case your dog barks you don't want to disturb other people during the long flights the approval took about 24 hours but they told me like it would take about 24 to 48 hours okay so I think that's basically it you just need to gather the documents call your airlines first and then you're ready to book your flight. Just make sure that your documents are settled. You just have to secure it in a folder. They will be asking it while you check in your bag. So it's basically you checking in your dog as well. Another thing is bringing your dog food to Canada. When we arrived in Canada, they asked me to get my dog food. What dog food was I bringing? And they had to check the ingredient. But my dog food was from Korea. So the ingredients were mainly Korean and he couldn't understand anything. They wouldn't allow you to be bringing a lot of dog foods they would be asking you $40 if you bring your dog food and they might throw your dog food in the trash because there are certain ingredients that Canada doesn't allow just make sure you don't bring a ton of dog food you just bring a right amount that can be consumed by your dog while traveling so I hope you guys enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up like and subscribe at Meg Twasson follow me on my Instagram at Meg Twasson with a double N I'll see you guys on the next one bye my darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you.